Here we go. Third time's the charm. Don't you think, dog? Let me give you a little background of why this took three times. I tried to meet up with some people to do some portraits with this thing. Uh, that didn't happen. I tried to do selfies and started filming and realized I didn't have the right trigger to do a selfie. Now comes to this one. Third time's the charm, right? So let's get into it. I'll meet back up with you at the end. I really enjoy shooting with TLR cameras. They're cool, the twin lens, top bottom, like my Mamiya C220. You've seen me shoot with this before. And it's enjoyable. It's a good switch from eye level viewfinders and all the digital cameras out there. Big bro and crazy creation from one Peter Goland. <laughs> you see this thing? It's freaking huge. Oh God. You can essentially load this thing, compose and shoot on the move. It's insane. Thank you to my friend Garrick who had this thing and got it years ago. Uh, there's not a lot of these out there. Oh, my, Holy my smokes, that thing's yeah. huge. It's that, a that's heavy. what she said. For a good deal. Now they're quite a bit more as all photography things are getting quite a bit more expensive because of the popularity and return of film stocks and stuff. It's really cool. Um, this guy crafted these things. You still got the ground glass. You can compose that way. But because of this twin lens setup, you can load the film right away and shoot. It's insane. Super useful. The thing's a tank though, so walking around with this thing doing street photography, I don't think that's the best idea. But you could definitely take it out of the studio and handhold it and shoot. So I'm gonna attempt to take photos of my dogs. A little overwhelmed with this. Go ahead and oh check my it out. God. Dude, but I mean, think about it. It's a game changer for 4x5. Yeah, that's so. hilarious. It's like, yeah. It's Dude, these TLR. are not exactly cheap either. There is not, a, there is not, I paid 700 bucks for this, but I think yeah. now this is like over two grand. I really? Think. Just because this guy is like a pretty famous photographer and he made the cameras, there's not that many of these. Yeah. So he made eight by well, 10 I've cameras. Never, this is the first one I've ever seen. All right. Let's meter for this doggy right here. 160th and 80th. All right, we got a, we go 100, five, six. But you moved. I wouldn't recommend shooting dogs with this camera. They move around. We got a puppy over here. I don't know if you can see it. Let's move the camera. It looks like he's bummed because the bike, his bike is broken. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a shot, doggy. Gonna cock it. Holy smokes. Okay, you gotta tell me, do I look insane? <laughs> oh, you gotta put this thing so far out. Okay, one thing, it is hard to focus. I don't know if puppy's eyes are in focus. All right. Let's give it a whirl. That's the first one. Oh, your wrist just dies. <laughs> you need a tripod. Um, if you want to last with this thing, you got to have it on a tripod. Oh, dog. It's bound to stop moving at some point. Oh dang, that helped a lot. The top lens has its own aperture. Make sure that's wide open. Jeez. Make it way easier to focus. Stop moving. Penny, sit. Sit. 
Don't come over here and sit. Sit. Good girl. Stay. Stay. You know, second shot's freaking tough. Now that I know that second lens has its own aperture, you can focus a little easier. Now that I know how heavy the thing is and holding it with one hand and focusing, clicking the shutter and everything is kind of insane. This is definitely, I'm gonna say more of a collector's camera than someone who's gonna be shooting or someone who's shooting in studio quite a bit. You can take it and handhold it and shoot, but save yourself the pain and put it on a tripod. That's my advice if you ever get your hands on one. Peter only made 600 of these from what I've heard and what you can find online. He might only have a couple left in his possession. So, hey Garrick, you're pretty stoked to have this. It's insane, but Jeez, man, <laughs> that's intense to hold. That's what she said, that's what she said, that's what she said. This dog is passed out, so I'm gonna attempt use that other four x five film to get this dog. Stay there, you idiot. God, it's, it's gotta be the lens, the camera, man freaking her out. <laughs> I guess it would freak most people out. You're killing me. I didn't film that last little part, but this is the photo we got of Penny. So I don't know if the top lens and the bottom lens are off with focus. Seems like they shouldn't be, but I swear I was better at focusing. Might be me, might be the camera, I don't know. But thanks again, Garrick, for letting me borrow that thing. That thing's a beast. So kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity to use that. It was fun. I would have liked to uh, do some different things with it, use flash and, you know, proper portraits and stuff, but whatever. Hope you guys are staying well. If you're in California, Oregon, fire seems to be going down, which is great still dealing with a lot of stuff. So stay well. See ya.